You see, that's smart. Constant motion. Wow. Hey! Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm watching you, too, but this guy's really showing me something. <laughs> and I'll tell you another thing, Cosmo, Kramer, whatever you want to be called. The kissing thing is over. There's no more kissing, and I don't care what the consequences are. Gay. Extraordinarily gay. <laughs> Steeped in gayness. Hey, 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 nice move today. What? Horning in on my rock climbing trip. It's just supposed to be me and Tony. He asked me. You put him on the spot. You know, I think that you're in love with him. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's ridiculous. No, no, I don't think so. You love him. Hey, you know, this is the first time we ever saw each other naked. <laughs> Believe me, I didn't see anything. Oh, you didn't sneak a peek? No, did you? Yeah, I snuck a peek. Why? Why not? Wait, I mean, what about you, George? Yeah, I, I snuck a peek. <laughs> Men have been popping into my sexual fantasies. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'll be in the middle. Uh, of what? <laughs> and I... Look at him. The Yankee Clipper. Yeah. Here. You see? Now that is a handsome man. Please. Hey, hey, George. Now. And you must look exactly like Jerry. <laughs> you don't see this? Oh, you're like twins. Woo this is Eerie. <laughs> Fred, well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Janet doesn't look anything like Jerry. Well, maybe we do look a little like each other. No, what do you know about what you look like? <laughs> Come on, George, relax. Just because they look alike, that doesn't mean you're secretly in love with Jerry. <laughs> All right, we're going now. Bye-bye. We just got here. Oh, you want me to keep my big mouth shut? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm never going to talk again. Yeah, right. What do I need to talk for, huh? What, the blab to the neighbors about how George has a new femme Jerry friend? <laughs> or to tell everybody at the coffee shop how George is all mixed up in a perverse sexual amalgam of some girl and his best friend? <laughs> See, now, I've done all that. Now, it's time for silence. Silence? Yes! Kramer, I mean, you're never going to be able to completely stop talking. Jerry, 94% of communication is nonverbal. Here, watch Me. Well, it's Frank and Estelle's reaction to hearing about George's man love for a CJ. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Listen, maybe you and I should um, get together. Have you been on the slide at Club USA? It's intense. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you asking him out? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Right in front of me? How do you know we're not together? Two guys sitting, laughing, drinking champagne coolies? No, I just didn't think you were. Well, we're sitting here together. Why wouldn't you think that? I don't know. I just didn't. Well, it's very emasculating. <laughs> what happened to you? These kids called me a Mary. Oh, what? I was jumping over a puddle. For some reason, I went like this. <laughs> and they called me a Mary. So I chased them and I tripped and I fell. Yeah, you know, kids, they can be very perceptive. <laughs> no, it's true. This woman saved my life. I was crossing the street. I was almost hit by a car. Uh -huh. And then we talked and the whole thing just seemed like a dream. If a guy saved your life, you'd be in love with him, too. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, fella. I mean, I know what it's like to be in love. It just... 
ties you up in knots. And Jerry is a very sexy man. What? Yes. Yeah, right. The punishment should fit the crime. You can see me naked, I could offer you that. Hey, hey, listen. Do either of you guys know that, that blonde guy who's always on the exercise at the health club? You know, he's just really handsome. I, uh, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> you know, just admitting a man is handsome doesn't necessarily make you a homosexual. It doesn't help. <laughs> well, my friend... It may be time to consider the dreaded apparatus. <laughs> Hold it right there. You're suggesting what I think you're suggesting you're wasting your time. I am not, Jerry, under any circumstances doing any inserting in that area. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. Yes, it is. It's funny running into you here. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. Look good. Why? Thanks. You too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's getting kind of late. I, I really have to be going. So yeah. it's nice seeing you again. Yeah. Hey, I, you know, maybe I'll call you sometime. George, it's over. It's just. It's over. What do you think, Jerry? I don't know, I just see you guys together. <laughs> All right, let's uh, change the subject. Uh, now, uh, you and uh, Jerry dated for a while. Tell us, uh, what was that like? <laughs> it's wrong card. Am I beautiful? George, am I beautiful? You're very attractive. Yeah. I can't stand these guys. You give your number to them and then they don't call. Why do they do that? I'm sorry, honey. I mean, I thought he liked me. I really thought he liked me. We were getting along. He came over to me. I didn't go over to him. Why did he come over to me if he didn't want to see me? I mean, here I meet this guy, this great guy, this right. ball player. Yeah. Best guy I ever met in my life. Well, that's it. I'm never giving my number out to another guy again. I've given my number out to guys, and it takes them a month to call. Ha! Good, good. Well, if he's calling in a month, he's got a prayer. You know, maybe he's been busy. Maybe he's been out of town. Oh, but they don't have phones out of town? I love how people say they're too busy. Too busy? Pick up a phone! It takes two minutes. How can you be too busy? Just go ahead and call him. Well, I can't call here. It's a coffee shop. I mean, what am I going to say to him? Just ask him if he wants to get together. For what, dinner? Dinner's good. Don't you think that's coming on a little too strong? Isn't that a, like a turn-off? Jerry, he's a guy. This is all very confusing. How did you hurt this? I don't know. You don't know? No. But you just told me. Korea. You heard it in Korea? What? The hamstring. Korea. How? Hamstring. How did you hurt the hamstring? Hotel. <laughs> What's with you? A, uh... Yes, a... A man gave me... Yes, a man gave you... A man gave me... A massage. <laughs> so? So he... had his hands and, uh... He was, uh... He was what? He, he was, uh... Touching and rubbing. <laughs> That's a massage. And then I took my pants off. You took your pants off? For my hamstring. Oh. He got about uh, two inches from there. Really? I think it moved. Hey, how you doing? Hey. How you doing? Oh. 
Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? All right. Uh, we'll see you later. <laughs> you know, I hear that all the time. You hear what? That I'm gay. People think I'm gay. Yeah, you know, people ask me that about you, too. Yeah, because I'm single, I'm thin, and I'm neat. <laughs> and you get along well with women. Guess that leaves me in the clear. Well, you know, you got some real strong pecs, but it's hard to tell under that T-shirt. You want me to take it off? Well, I don't know. It's up to you. Do you think it would be better if I did? It might be. I mean, whatever you want. <laughs> oh, God, come on! Yeah! That's it. Come on, George. That's it. Come on, give it to me. Come on, work it! Work it! Oh, yeah! Own it! Own it! Yeah, be a man! Be a man! <laughs> lover boy! You are a lover boy! Oh, yeah. Why is everything uh, gay with you? I like gay.